Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We got an exciting build this time. It's not a salvage, it's not from Copart. It's actually a clean title and it's a barn find. It's been sitting here roughly for 20 years. They gave us a great deal for it. We're like, we have to have it. It's actually something classic. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so this thing is a 1966 Ford Mustang. Like I said, it's been sitting here for 20 years, so we don't know what's under those tarps kind of thing. We hope it's not rusty because it's been here for a while, garage cap, so that's pretty cool. I hope the interior is good, but we don't know, like I said, what we find. Hopefully no animals or anything like that. I hope no crazy damage, but I honestly, I think it's gonna be good. I mean, looking at it right now, it's like, woo, it's exciting, you know? First kind of buy for us, never had a garage find barn find like this before, so. Yeah, let's take the tarps off and see what's under there. But before we take the tarps off, make sure you guys leave a comment below how much you think we bought it for, if it's a good build, good find, and if you share the video, I don't know what we're gonna basically do with this thing. We might just restore it, we might do something crazy with it. We've seen a lot of videos out there, people are modifying these things a lot, putting a 5.0 in it or something like that, but I don't know, it's all up to you guys. If you share it, like it, and it goes good, then yeah, we'll put more time into it, but let's not waste any more time and just get right to it and see what's under there. Ooh, got some bugs. Tarps in there pretty good. We're gonna have to pop the hood then. Yep. So far, so good, huh? Oh, yeah. How's, how's really the paint looking? It looks really good, honestly. Just needs a nice, good little wash. You know, it's definitely been sitting. And it's raining outside, so it might look really good outside. By the time we get back to the shop, yeah, it might look real good. Get the other part off. Look at that, it looks 100% better. So let's check out the body. Let's see if there's any rust on it, how the body looks. Cause we have no idea of the condition of it, but from looking at it so far, I'm liking it so far, you know, like it's, it's looking original. You know, we don't, we don't know too much about them, but I mean, we definitely know body work. So let me look around, see if there's any been body work on it. It's been, been painted and anything like that. But so far it's looking really good. I don't see nothing wavy. The drip rails look really clean. Around the glass, it's looking really good. I don't see nothing corroding. So it's been covered up and sitting inside. So that's a really good sign. What? Let's pop the hood. We can check out the, the inside thing. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. And it looks like we have a little four cylinder inside. It's dark, sorry, one second. There he goes. It's pretty clean though. But this is looking really good. The firewall is looking really clean. Not bad. Looks like there's a little bit of silicone and all that wrinkly stuff going on there. So maybe it did have some repairs done to it. But other than that, it's looking, I'd say it's pretty good. I'm liking it. The hood looks original. I mean, everything looks really clean on it. Who knows, maybe we just put some power to this thing and drive it out of here. I mean, who knows? Who you know, knows? But let's keep going around. Let's check out the quarter panels. Let's check out the rockers. Make sure they're clean and not rusty and go from there. All right, so here are the quarter panels. I mean, they're looking pretty solid. Um, I don't see no paint chipping. I don't see no bubble bubbling up from rust or corrosion, nothing like that. I mean, it looks really original. I gotta say, not bad at all. Super clean. All right, so we're here on the back of the car. Uh, like I said, it's, I mean, it's looking really good. We don't see any corrosion or rust around the windows or the rear glass. Uh, the trunk, the gaps, everything's looking really good. Let's look underneath this thing. Yeah. 
The gas tank is there. It's looking really clean. The muffler's a little rusty, though. It's got the little tip broken off. But not bad at all. All right, so far I'm pretty happy with the outside. It's looking really good, body works wise. But let's go inside and check out the interior. Wow, guys, this interior is just beautiful. Wow, honestly, very mint, very well taken care of. Looks like it's been like conditioned. You know, you got that leather, you keep applying it to it. Oh, wow. we got the, what's called the humidity in the summer. Oh yeah. So nice and uh... Yeah, everything looks original. I mean, the carpet looks like in great shape. Wow. And I'm... it's a manual too. Nice. Yeah, a little four, three speed? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Cool. Seats flip forward. It's almost like the bug we have. Very yeah. Nice. Wow. That is awesome. Roll down windows. It's working. Very smooth. <whistles> Let me sit inside, see what it feels like. <laughs> Big old steering wheel. It's so thin, but you know, it's pretty big, but I guess that helps you turn. You know, it's a little easier. Most likely won't have power steering. Probably no power steering, so you need the big old wheel to help you turn on it, but. Nice, you got all the knobs. I think there's the air conditioning control right here. Maybe. I think it's all like manual levers and legit opening and closing vents kind of thing. All right, Michael, let's, what, we've got to get this thing loaded on the trailer. Um, we got a little bit of cleanup to do. Yeah. Then we're gonna try to start this thing. That'd be great. I've seen our tires are flat too, so we definitely need to pump that up. Um, but overall, wow. That's pretty. Okay. A little rat's nest there, but that's that's normal. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a mouse. There's a mouse in there. You can tell by the chewed up paperwork. Oh man. Registration. It's all good. Hope I didn't get too far. What are the miles on it? I have 67,000. That's not bad for a 66. I mean, that's what, how many miles per year? <laughs> not much. Is this custom or do you think this is, I don't know, battery power? I mean, I think ampers. Who knows? Anyways, let's, let's clean around this car. Let's push it outside and, uh, or maybe put some jump box to it? Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. How are you enrolling? I have to wait. Okay, I'm done. Turn the wheel. This one's not. But it's only a cookie, so. All right guys, the tire is not spinning and we didn't bring a jack with us, so we're gonna have to improvise and gonna just basically pull this thing onto the trailer. We don't have a winch on there either, but we'll make it work, we'll figure it out. Let's get it done. Let's pull it, see what happens.
on the trailer. Let's get it locked down. Head back to the shop. All right, guys, there we go. Just like that, we got it loaded up on the trailer. Really wasn't too bad. I'm happy how it turned out. We didn't damage anything, and it's on there, even though one of the reels is not rolling, but it's fine, we'll figure that out. Unfortunately, we don't have a key, so we we'll definitely need to call a key guy and get one of those made. So I wanna put some power to it, see what happens. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if it starts, we don't know if it runs. No idea, you know, it's part of the game, though. We'll figure it out, so kinda of excited about that. But let's go ahead and head back to the shop. Luckily, we're local, so we're not too far of a road trip, so that's nice, but let's get back to the shop and see if we can unload it there. All right, guys, we got scrubs under there. He's basically checking out them brakes, see if we can get them unstuck. So they're locked up right now. But we got air in the tires, we're jacked up. I'm just trying to get this thing to spin. It'll be a lot easier getting it off and on the trailer and etc. cetera. a little wheel you turn. So it's a drum brake back there and it just seized up. There's a little wheel you could turn. And adjust it. I'll adjust it, loosen it up, hope we get it rolling. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Good job, Scrubs. Hey, hey, hey. He got it. Easy. That's what you want. Perfect. There's a side glass. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, there we go. Let's go ahead and get off the trailer and give this thing a good wash. Let's see, first wash in about 20 years. Let's do it. The ignition? No, you use wire out there. Run to the coal. Yeah. What a rip. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, first test drive was awesome. This handbrake is working really good. I'm really nice, happy that the wheel is spinning now. So yeah, that worked out nice. Let's go ahead and give this thing a bath. Cool. All right, guys, so it's definitely dusty, dirty, but the sun's coming out. Hopefully this thing will look good once we wash it. I mean, she's dirty, but she ain't bad. It's all there. All right guys, so we got it inside, it's washed and it's looking amazing. But like we mentioned before, we don't know what we're gonna do with this thing. Should we put the 7.3 Godzilla engine in like Ivan wants? I mean, basically it's a VA, but a amped up version. So that'd be really cool, but I don't know. Option one, swap it. Option two, just keep it stock, kind of let it, you know, be classy kind of thing and give it away. Who knows? Or three, what's our third option again? 
Just sell it. Just sell it. it. Yeah. Just crush it. Wow. Okay. I don't think we should crush it because this thing's really mint. I mean, somebody definitely took care of it for a long time. It's been garage kept for many, many years. Let's so put definitely. Put it back in my garage. It's a collector's item for sure. Clean title. It's weird having a clean title car. Kind of, you know, it's not, it's not used to it. It's not even wrecked or anything. Yeah. It's so weird. We still need a little bit of work to it because it's been sitting so long. But still, hey, that's per perfectly fine. But like I said, leave some comments below, guys. Do you think it's a good build, new project, or should we just let it go like I mentioned before? But thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.